Hey, it's Leah, and welcome to Enlightened Mystic Essentials. Today, we are going to look into energies, right? Or uh, energy reading, because I received the message that uh, uh, many of people have been praying for help. So today, we are going to look into the energies um, that are coming forth to hopefully help everyone out, right? And seeing what energies um, we all have to face as a collective, right? So, if you are new to my channel, I'm Leah. I read numbers, colors, talk to spirits, right? I will tell you what I see. I will tell you what I feel. They're popping. I will also tell you what I hear, right? So, we're going to try to cover a lot today. Um, and also, I am going to show you all some products that you can use to help you out along the way, right? So I'm shuffling through the, uh, our oracles and our clarifiers, which is different for me. I usually do all this before I come on, but... So um, I'm going to give you guys some scriptures today, right? To read for those who read the Bible um, and go to the Bible for help, right? When I say I've been getting messages left and right and right and left and up and down and so much going on. And I also feel like um, this war between Ukraine and Russia has a lot of people on a fritz. And we are already starting to feel the effects of it because look at the gas prices sky high, right? So I, I just feel like it's more and more of a push for people who have not um, tapped in to tap in, right? Um, it's, it's uh, you know, I, I always say I would rather know than not to know, you know? I would rather know than not to know. All right, one more set. So um, the things... Popping. That was in reverse. So the thing that um I I, I actually noticed was that I, a lot of people shifts are uh, focusing off of uh, the COVID situation um towards this war, right? Um, a lot of people are trying to figure out how they're gonna survive. Um, I also um, picked up on like a lot of sickness, um, cancer, but I uh, actually um, really um, got like a huge message about children's health. So I don't know if uh, who has children and how everyone's children are doing. And, and, it, and, it's, and it's not necessarily have to be like kids, um, little kids, but just your children in general. So if you have a child and they have something going on wrong with their bodies or their mental, or they could be depressed because it's a lot of kids fighting depression, um, you may want to start reading Psalms 127. We're going to um, read out of the book of Psalms for help, right? Um, a lot of your minds are scattered and I can see that with what popped out, right? No vision, right? Uh, burden is here, right? Look. Um, rest and rejuvenation, minds being scattered. Uh, for a clarity of mind or a peace of mind, you need to read one one forty two, right? Um, I also picked up on a lot of court cases. Now, a lot of the feeling about court is like a lot of like new appearances or first appearances before the judge, right? Like, like this could be on someone's first offense or first time, you know, getting in trouble, right? And, and they got caught, whether it be something major or a DUI. But um, for a lot who don't know, um, when your spouse or you or your kids or someone you know goes to court, you definitely want to put a prayer of protection up over them because you got to understand that the judges are human themselves and just like you have issues so do the judge but i if it was me i wouldn't want to go 
before a judge and a judge, like somebody made them mad or pissed them off that morning and they got on that bench and where you just could say do two months in jail, they say, you know what, the hell with it. You're not going to learn. Go do a year. I, listen, judgments, right? Court appearances. So court appearances, Um, you want to read um Psalm 61. For a person who is the, 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 like the struggling with depression or a child could be struggling with depression because there's so much going on. Psalms 117. But for just praying for help in general and needing success in general, right? You want to read Psalm 65 because it's, it's, it's the scripture for success in all things and situations, right? And because I picked up on help, 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 help. We need help. We need help. Start reading Psalm 65, right? So at the end of our reading, I'm going to show you some things because I have, you know, and I, I explain, you know, the difference between washes, right? Because we have different types that a lot of people need to learn about, right? That's why I said I was going to do a candle review, right? And show you guys the difference in, um, single action candle, double action candle, triple all purpose. And I'll do the same with the um bath today. So let's get into this burden, right? Burden. Burden comes in as a one, right? One represents you, right? You, me, right? You. It also represents the thought along the journey. Um, This is that scattered mind situation. Not knowing which way to go. Um, not knowing if you're on the right path. And I picked up on that the other day. A lot of people are just not sure if they're on the right path. This burden card also represents a man or a male or a masculine energy. Because you're going to find that masculines, right? They are the, the dominant ones. One. Um, it also represents penis. Right, one. Um, and I hear like child support cases, DNA, t DNA, right, DNA. So clarifying your burden, the second card that jumps out was rest and rejuvenation. Rest and rejuvenation. So this talks about needing to take a break. This also comes in as another one, the one you, the one thought, the one journey. Man, male, or dominant masculine energy, right? And then they tell us eight, no vision. No, something, something is unclear because this is vision in reverse. And it comes in wounded. Feminine energies are woundings. So vision comes in as an eight, right? Um, for a lot of you, I feel like um, you need a rebirth, right? You need a restart, right? You need a refresh button, but there's something you need to do in order to get it, right? Something you need to do. All together, they all represent the one. So whatever the situation is, it's something dominating or um, could be drowning out help is what I hear. Drowning out help. Drowning the help out. So we're going to go to spirit, right? Spirit. And see what type of spiritual message is here. Um, it could be pertaining to a man or a um, masculine energy, right? Not necessarily have to be a man, but a woman could be a dominating a dominating energy in a situation right one one plus the eight is ten or a one right ten i feel like a situation is coming to a head or coming to a close or when your vision becomes clear right you're gonna see what you need to see you're gonna hear what you need to hear to put an end to a situation, right? Or a decision that needs to be made. Spirit for burden. 
what cannot be seen in the physical, but is there in the spiritual. All right, let's go down. Come on, down, down, down. Here we go. Let me now. Let me fit them the screen. Let me fit them the screen. This is your clarifying card that pops out overburden. Hopefully you can see it because all angles have changed. <sighs> clarifying your burden, you receive the shadow queen. Mm. Comes in as a seven. The seven represents you. This is a message for you. I love the shadow queen because the shadow queen is that message, right? Or that queen that comes from the darkness, right? Um, to give you a message. And this message could be, uh, uh, it could assist you in um, some type of knowledge that you didn't know. See, acquiring knowledge, insecurities, and manipulation. It also, it could tell you about uh, uh, the person who's uh, manipulating you or a person who has manipulated the situation. Be careful. The main colors here are white, brown, and green. The white talks about the purity and the clarity of the green. Green talks about the movement forward. See, that is that step that you need to take to end the situation. The green also talks about health, wealth, and abundance. See that? So some type of blockage is here clarifying your burden. Why are you blocked? Why you can't move out of situation? And this is the situation that could be keeping you from relaxing, that could be keeping you from a peace of mind, that could be the situation that's keeping you from not uh, uh, being able to rest that night. You see that? Uh, a lot of anxiety is here. Anxiety is here. Let's clarify. Shadow Queen, what is the message? What is the message you bring forth? Shadow Queen. All right, on top. Notice the card position. Shadow Queen's here. Rest and rejuvenation is here. You receive a rebirth. This is what you need. A rebirth, baby. This is also death, right? Death. That's that, that rejuvenation factor. Comes in as a four. You have to be careful because four is one of the most injuring and damaging numbers on the boards at this time. It talks about what could be stuck, blocked, held back, nailed down, right? What needs to end, what needs to be buried, or what needs to be let go of. But I feel like here they're telling us that a rebirth can't come in because some type of blockage is here, which we know that. Shadow Queen is coming saying, hey, you can't have your rebirth. Let me get it wild. You can't have your rebirth because a block is here. So now you know you need to pay attention to the block. Pay attention to the block. What needs to be surrendered, released, or accepted at this time about this blocking of the rebirth? The blocking of the rebirth. You got two because one want to flip and one want to hide. Over your burden, shadow queen, and rebirth, you, re you receive surrender, obsessive thinking. Now, this could be talking about a Scorpio. Or this could talk about air signs, uh, um, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra, all right? Over your rest and rejuvenation, you receive surrender to passion. Also still some type of indication of something not being seen here. Black mass, feminine energy. See that? Be careful. Also feminine energy, weakling, but it's an apple here. Be careful. So uh, surrender to obsessive thinking says... You, if you are obsessing about a person or a situation, right? It says, turn the dilemma over to spirit. Doing so will help bring you clarity and even solve a problem. We need that, right? That's what we're trying to do. Um, I feel like, right? I feel like. Um, there's something that is good for you, right? Good for you. Or I feel like something you have been praying for, right? Praying for to help you in a situation is could be blocked because you're thinking that it's not coming. Understand the fact that your timing is not the father's timing. 
your timing is not heaven's time because you got to understand the, the, the energy flow between the heavens and earth or the heavens and you is called currency, right? Even though on earth we call currency money, in reality, currency is heaven's flow of energy. And if you are thinking, right, thinking, because don't forget, you, you, you think and you manifest what you're thinking. And if you're thinking that, that, that there's a block there, you could be the one blocking. Or I also feel this and I also hear this. If someone pops in your mind that, 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 like while, while you're looking at this video, right? And we're talking about the block and somebody pops in your mind, nine times out of 10, that is also a person who has blocked your currency or your flow of trying to obtain what you're trying to obtain. Be careful. Surrender the passion. Let's read surrender the passion. Coming in wounded. Black mass over the eyes tell us it's something that's not being seen clearly. And it is something pertaining to the heart. See that heart. A white flower over the heart. The main color here is purple. Purple talks about the power and the empowerment of, right? The pink that represents passion, compassion, joy, peace. Yep, friendship. Uh, some type of relating uh, factors or, 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 or it could be, um, um, as I call it, um, partnerships, right? Uh, could be like investment housing, a loan officer and you, um, your job, a friend, um, something is not being seen pertaining to matters of the heart. It says, get out of your head once again and feel the fire in your belly. Focus on the people and the activities that ignite your passions. Let it flow. Let it flow. Let what flow? Currency. See that? Let's break down this vision because vision comes in upside down right it's not right something is not being seen clearly you got to get your vision right you got to get your focus right spirit why is vision here in reverse why is vision here in reverse so you got thinking thank you oh static baby static static and then the thing i want you to notice it points straight towards you right static is here coming in as the eight of swords uh, once again, uh, the block could be you. You could be blocking what you are praying for. Fire element swore the thought of action or the thought of, of, of your mind or, um, the thoughts within your mind, right? Taking action, but, the, but your thoughts are blocking you. Swords. This is usually the eight of swords being blocked, but this is being blocked mentally. Physically, you're fine, but mentally, you're blocked. Get out of your head. Spirit, clarify the eight of swords. Get out of your head. Needing to collaborate, right? Three of coins you receive. And three of coins points to the door opportunity. So let's see what door opportunity is being blocked. Clarify the three of coins, right? The collaboration of all things solid, right? And the people and the collaboration of people. The coming together of all things solid and people. All people, see that? All right? You receive distant dream. Your door. This is your door opportunity. Hopefully you can see it. Distant dream says, The distant calls your heart to roam free. As you dare to dream it, so must it be. See that? Distant dream. Heart's desires. You call them in. You have to allow it to manifest and come forth. Underneath the deck. Let's go. Hangman is here. Right? Needing a new perspective. Needing to get a new perspective. The king of coins is here. Let's go. All right? The Four of Cups is here. Seven of Staffs is here. Death is here. Another rebirth. Six of Cups. And I'm going to tell you what I see. 
The Hierophant is here. I feel like a lot of you are going against the grain. The Seven of Coins is here. Seven of Coins is here. Seven of Coins is here. Let's go. So needing a new perspective, right? Needing a new perspective. Um, a lot of you need to let the divines in, Blue Beetle, right? And even though you're upside down or you're scattered or you're not mentally focused or your vision is off, you still have heavenly help. But even though that Blue Beetle is still like kind of above your head, for a lot of you, I still feel like you need to open your mouth, right? Open your mouth and ask for help. Because in the hangman, the hangman is looking away from the king of coin. And the king of coin is, is abundant, right? Abundant. The greats are before. Um, the king of coin is sitting on a throne. See that? Concrete, solid position. One foot is on the grass, right? That talks about that movement forward. And one foot is back on the um, throne. So they're telling us that a person could have their uh, solid ground or a solid foundation or a sense of, right, their path, their journey, but for some reason, not paying attention, not paying attention. The blocking of feelings is here. I feel like that too, right? Shoo, shoo away, right, with your feelings. Where this could be the, the recognition of feelings or recognizing of feelings and a person is not trying to um, take heed to how they feel. Because even then they're telling you to stand up, right? Stand up for your victory, right? Someone on a journey, right? Ace of staff for their victory. But it's like they're shooing away their feelings. But once again... A person has one cup in their hand, but they're looking at the three of cups. So you have to be careful because I feel like the three of cups is that distraction. Having what you need in your possession or being able to per, uh, obtain what you need in your reach. But you rather focus on other things, right? Other things. And I feel like they're saying, hey, stand up for your victory and out of your feelings, right? away with your feelings, right? Or do not depend so much on your feelings, right? Because they say in walking away, see in, right? Death, death, walking away from a person who could have you in your feelings or in, right? Someone from the past who is they're like looking in the cup for themselves. And that is the ace of cup in which they hold. And they're not paying attention to the four of cups that are, that, that, that are there. Because the four of cups could serve as that block stop. Block stop. And even though they're looking in that cup, they're not making any uh, movement forward. Who is the person that's moving forward? Right? In that. In. Or I feel like. They're telling you to end a person who can have you in your feelings. Once again, I feel like a water sign could also be here. Don't forget, water signs are the master manipulators of feelings. So don't allow another person to block, stop you is what I'm saying. Because it's like, I got mine, right? They got theirs. It's time to go. And then they tell us here, you have a staff. Staff represent new journey. That's an that's a opportunity. The ace of staff. You have an ace of staff and an ace of cup. See that? Two opportunities where this person is looking in, in one cup, like needing more, wanting more. But once it's gone, it's gone. And then the son is here saying, hey, you need to pay attention to a person from the past. See that? Pay attention from a person from the past. Changes is coming. See that? Hierophant is major arcana number five. Hierophant could represent um, some type of commitment factor. Um, also, I feel like um, church or some type of worship, place place of worship. Um, 
counseling. I feel like counseling is also here changing, uh, or, or some type of counsel. Um, I also feel like a person is going to look like, like, uh, take another look at options. <laughs> Bless me of commitment. Excuse me. I felt like something was tingling my nose. I feel like this is going to be the card that's going to cause a lot of people to cry. Um, or this could also be marriages. Marriages, blessings. So when I say crying, it's not necessarily saying, okay, crying because it's sad. But, you know, a lot of people cry at weddings. But then they tell us seven a coin. This is someone who um, at one point of time, they overstepped the boundaries of the divine. See that? Once again, this blue beetle is here, seven of coins. Um, the creation of being held back or um, the blocking of a commitment, a blocking of a marriage, a blocking of an engagement. But for some of you, I feel like the person who you thought you were supposed to be with is a change at hand. The change is limbo, right? Limbo. The creation of a change is here. So I feel like it's a person blocking or it was something you needed to see that you didn't see in the beginning and this distant dream for a lot, I feel like, okay, just say, for example, you want to get married. So you, you going to go get married, right? But the person who you, the person who you thought you was going to marry, you're not going to marry them. You see that? Or there's going to be some type of shake up. See that? That may cause an ending. Ooh. Because once you open your eyes, right? Once you open your eyes, the person who you thought you were supposed to be with, right? You, you, you're not going to be with them. You're going to leave them. Be careful. But don't forget, all things are going to work themselves out. This is why surrender to passion is here. And I feel like the shadow queen comes in and say, hey, you overthinking it. You overthinking the situation, but don't worry because a change is coming. All this is about change. A change is coming. Be careful. And for a lot, I think you need to start looking at your mate or the person who... um you were planning on marrying you might need to start looking at that person um whether it be because i keep hearing private eye <laughs> um maybe some of you guys need to um get a reading and look into uh what a person is really doing if you have not looked at the um the reading here, the year of uh 2022, where we talk about double lives, you may want to because it's something that you're not seeing that could be detrimental, I hear, to a situation. Um, also in that uh reading, we talked about double lives, how a lot of people are gonna be putting on one face. But in reality, they're going to be a whole nother person. So I feel like that's th that this, this, this insight was about um, a person not being who you think they are. And maybe your marriage or your um, wedding proposals or your engagements in these relationships are not going according to how you feel they should go because that is the currency or heaven's flow being blocked. 
if you feel is if see that if you feel is if something isn't right make sure you look into it before you jump the broom or you look into it before you jump the gun out here let's go energy spirit what's another energy we all will face in march yes be careful stop angel of balance is here angel of balance comes in as a three threes represent the creation of the angel of balance is here yes we need some type of balance spirit what's the insight surrounding this angel of balance yes yep a lot of double lives are happening you received summon mm, be careful magic Coming in wounded, coming in as a four. Don't forget, four is one of the most injuring and damaging numbers on the boards. Together, they represent the seven. The seven represents you, right? Seven also represents that, that day of rest. Seven also represents the seven colors of a rainbow. That is our gay and lesbian uh communities. Uh-huh. Same sex partners. You're you're here, you're here too. Be careful. Seven represents the seven days of the week or a time frame, which are the days that end in seven. The seventh, the 17th, and the 27th. It also could represent an hour, 7 a.m., 7 p.m. Start paying attention to the time frame. It could come in and represent 707. You know what I'm saying? Be careful representing these. This represents a time frame. So some type of, um, let me come down so you guys can see. Some type of magic is getting ready to go on. Some type of magic summon. Every time I get the summon card, oh boy, here we go. Somebody could be working with magic that, and they don't know exactly what they're doing. Be careful because they're coming in wounded feminine energy. And a balance needs to occur. Spirit, what? needs to sur be surrendered or accepted about summon let me see let's go let's see what's going on playing with fire playing with magic Ooh. okay now let me show you three one two three all over here towards this angel of balance but you got one that's hidden it flips over in the deck and look what it is what's hidden surrender denial be careful because a person playing with magic and they have no clue to what they're doing, they can mess you up. Over here towards your angel of balance, surrender to prayer is here. Praying for help, needing help. Surrender to miracles. Wow. Be careful. And surrender to play is here. Be careful. Mm -mm -mm. surrender to denial let's read this denial factor coming in wounded feminine energy it says accept people in situations exactly as they are without denying the difficulties then you can see things clearly and make the best decision be careful mm. coming in blinded coming in wounded no sense of direction, no sense of clarity. What is going on? The main colors here are white and yellow. White talks about the purity and the clarity of the yellow. What is the, the yellow? Understanding. Also, it could represent communication, representing clarity, um, illumination, or um, enlightenment, needing some type of knowledge for help. And I feel like a person, they they need to know something and need to know something now. And somebody may could give them wrong advice or tell them how to do a ritual or a luring wrong. And it causes hell. Be careful. And then over here with this prayer and these miracles. Right. A lot of you need to start praying for your angel of balance to come in. And once you give it over to um, the heavens, get your little human self out the way 
so you won't mess up the situation. Plain and simple. Let's read over here on your <laughs> summon. Because y'all know I like to get to the nitty gritty. Wow. Spirit, why is summon and the surrender to the now here? Be careful. No good. This is literally a bad combination here. Fours talk about what can be stuck, blocked, held down, nailed down to the ground. What needs to end, what needs to be buried. Summon and your angel of balance, you receive the father, the emperor. I feel like this is a person who's hard-headed. A person you can't tell nothing. They know what they know and that's all that they know coming in as a four, wounded. I feel like a person is going to be to get the big head here and they're going to go off what a person tell them and they're going to go and try to create a manifest. It could be about a, a couple, could be about a couple because look, you have a feminine energy here, a feminine energy here and boom, here comes the masculine energy. Now, this is could be a third party situation. Whoever, whether it be man or woman, has the dominating hand or the dominant position in the relationship, they are the father. And these two are the weaker energies that cater to the father. See that? Or whoever's the whoever plays the emperor. And I feel like this kind of reminds me at our sister channel, uh, Dart, Dart Mr. Tarot, about the magic user. I feel like this could be a situation about um, a person using magic. See, be careful. Here's a person using magic and look, the blindfold person doesn't know. But it's pertaining to this person. Whoever, if, it's, if this is the person that is loved, these two love this person. But I feel like this person will go through great lengths, right? For this person to be theirs, knowing that this person has someone. So they're going to go and get this person removed. Go to Dark Mystic Tarot and look at this reading. I also told you guys that this is the year of, um, of, of love. Because we are in the year of the lovers. Be careful. And everybody's going to be doing some loving. Be careful. Spirit, clarify the emperor. Let's clarify the emperor. So I feel like we have a third party situation. Look. Touching your emperor over your surrender to the now towards your prayer. Because this is what's over here. Prayer. You receive seven of cups, options, choices, and decisions. The year of the lovers of the year 2022 is also about choices, decisions, and options. Surrender to prayer. Let's read surrender to prayer. It says, give yourself over completely to prayer. When you pray from your heart, you will, you know, you will be heard throughout the universe and answers and support will arrive for you all that know like this person that you're with is cheating you may need to start praying or praying doing some things to protect yourself if not remove this person out your life under underneath the deck look knight of swords resistance resistance is here but what is being resisted an opportunity Ace of coin. Something better. Something better is being resisted. Why? In. In. Death. In. In. In a person. Okay. In a person's offer. Right? Because stop a person's offer. Right? This offer is about a person making an offer to you. Correct? And they're going to dress up the offer and the offer is going to seem great. But in reality, the offer is to benefit them because the fish is facing them in this cup. Fish represent plenty. And the offer that they're making is going to be beneficial to them. 
even though they're going to make an offer towards you and they're telling you, hey, 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 stop this. And a new opportunity, a new path is coming because a lot of you are going to be mentally blocked, mentally stuck. You feel like you just can't move. Star represents a new journey, a wish being heard, a prayer being heard, a new opportunity is coming. And then the thing that I want you to notice in both of these cards, there's water. Water represents that bounce back, baby. The, the, the clearing, the baptism, the, ba the baptism, the baptizing, the purification, water. A lot of you need to take your spiritual baths. That's why Spirit asked me to bring some of these bath things here. All right. To show you the difference. So you can stand up, right, for yourself and get your get get you a reward. Cause they talk about the um holding back of changes, right? Holding back of changes. And what was being held back is your reward, right? Four of coins, the holding back of rewards, but a change is coming. And how do we know a change is coming? Because you are going to receive that message. Red birds, birds represent messages or some type of communication that is going to allow you a position to overstep the snake and the stake, depending on the position of the stake, what it represents, because this snake is on the ground. It represents evil. It represents darkness. It represents devil. It represents that block. You're going to receive a message that's going to put you in a better position, right? to receive your reward, to receive your reward. And then they say, Ace of Swords, Ace of Swords, divine truth, divine, divine truth. Uh, the, the, the clearing of your mental, right? Divine knowledge. And then abundance is here. Once again, grace. Abundance is here. Divine knowledge. Do what you got to do. Lead these people in the past. If you unsure, get a reading to look and to see what these people are doing. Because this year here is going to have a lot of twists and turns to it. Because it's going to be a lot going on. You're gonna, We're going to learn about a lot of double lives being uh, lived. I, I gave that message. Um, about um, how people are going to have a family here, family there, you know. Um, also, um, I also was given a message about the things that, um, if you want to help the people who are at war, right? The Ukrainians and some of the Russians too, because everybody in Russia is not for this war. They, they beating these people and putting them in jail. I don't know if you've seen, but they, they have charter buses where they loading these people and sending them to jail over there in Russia because they, they don't agree. I, um, spirit told me to come on and show you some things that you could do in your own home to send up more energy and more love and, and, and more blessings to them. Right. So let me show you the differences because I, I, a lot of you guys don't know. So when I say like spiritual baths, a lot of people order these, right? Washes. These can be used for yourself, right? Yourself. Or your home. A lot of people also cleanse their home, their businesses with these, right? I mean, it's different kinds. You got spell breaker, right? This is all purpose, general, all purpose. And then you need a little look, right? And then you have herbs. A lot of people use these. They make their own tea bath. These are tea baths. You boil them and put them in a larger container of water. And to um, activate them, you read um, a prayer over them, or they tell you a verse also in the Bible to read. And then these are also tea baths, but they come in different forms, just different kinds. Uh, Elagor is part of the seven African powers. And then you got this La Bamba, uh, St. Michael, St. Jude, St. Barbara, and Mother Charity is here. All of these. So these are like, when I say spiritual bath, these are what I'm talking about. Well, you need to take a bath, right? Um, and it's so different, many different types. So listen, I'm Leah. This has been your energy read. It kind of seems like it was all over the place for me because I feel like mentally scattered, mentally scattered. Um, you can find me at uh, Leah Enlightened, 
Instagram, right? Uh, I'm also uh, Amazon with products at the, um, Enlightened Mystic. Uh, you can find me on Facebook at um, Enlightened. No, is it? What is it? ME Central or ME Centrals, right? With an S. Um, so until I see you guys next time, um, I think I'm getting ready to do this candle review where I come on and show you the different candles and explain to you what they are used for. So um, pay attention. Wake up, because that's what the message was about. Stop ignoring these little uh symbols and, and, and signs and whims. A person going to always show you who they are when they get comfortable with you, right? Stop turning your head like you don't see it. A lot of people are going to get to the door of marriage and, 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 and it's not going to happen, or they're going to get to the door of commitment and it's not going to happen and it's not going to be um your doing. Is going to be according to the to the heavens, right? Because I just feel like the flow is off. Currency is off, right? I feel like the time of raining down blessings um, that was flowing, I feel like it's starting to slow down. And we do, we do not need it to slow down at this time because times are starting to get harder already. A lot of people are feeling the effects. So, um, I love you guys. Um, and so I see you guys again, work it out, figure it out and stay prayed up.